Yo, make sure you got your paperwork straight. I got Mickey the truth. Let's get one thing clear. This your girl, Mickey Truth. Turn up for South Carolina 803 to be a Z. What's up, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Mickey Truth, aka the Queen of Paperwork, and I am back with another video. As always, all information contained in this video is for entertainment educational purposes only. All information used in this video is per the Fair Use Act, and any conclusion that you draw is on you, not me. So the loudest is the weakest. Give a fuck about what they scream. What's up, Truth Team? Listen, one thing for certain. Adam 22 is going to stay up in some back and forth with someone. And King Yella is going to stay up in some back and forth with someone. Okay? This particular time, they're going back and forth with each other. And at first, I was like, it's probably like one of them plays. But then I'm seeing more and more posts. And I'm like, well, maybe it's not. Okay? So let's try to put this thing together. And I want to know what y'all think about this. Is this really just some type of play? Or is this really smoke? Is. You on there playing with my cousin Amari? Now, listen, I don't care what she talked about. You disrespecting her, calling her a hoe, rat, and all this, bro. You hanging around all them gang members and bro, you a fucking biker. You fucking goofy ass white boy. You's a fucking nerd, bro. You's a fucking skater, biker, a fucking schoolboy, a fucking pedophile, whatever the fuck you is. You's a fucking goofy. You playing with my cousin, disrespecting her as a woman on the internet, calling her a hoe and all that. When a motherfucker punch your teeth out, I ain't even gonna say the shit I wanna say because you know you a white boy with the white boy power, the police shit that you really do behind the scenes. A motherfucker gonna get up with your glamour and hit your ass with a hammer though. You gonna see what the fuck going on. All that shit you hanging around them niggas, they got you feeling all tough. Cause your coach of both your dick sucking ass, still in their body, all the Chicago shit. You was a bitch, bitch ass white boy on my kids. A motherfucker see you, put your 3D glasses on. Your bitch ass gonna need some 3D. Sheesh, that was a lot going on, okay? So like, first and foremost, I wanted all those names and things um, King Yellow was calling Adam 22. Did he know about that prior to the disrespect on his cousin? Because I always wondered that when people start saying different things about people, when they get into it, I just be wondering, did you know about that before you got paid by that person? Did you know about that before you interviewed with that person multiple times? I'm just saying, that's just my little inquiry about the situation. Now, I'm like, well, damn, you know, what did Adam 22 say to his cousin? So, you know, I had to go over to Instagram and, you know, check out the blogs and check out different pages. So I was able to find this. I don't know if y'all saw it, but let's break it down. All right. So I saw this on Amari Blaze's story. Okay. And it said that Adam 22 posted this on his story. And it says this Rod Wave looking asshole is mad at me for talking about her telling on her ops. Well, then you shouldn't have done it. You dirty rat. And then she shared it like, look at that beautiful suburban princess with emojis. Thanks for the promo, Adam22. That's a good way to look at it, Amari. I ain't gonna lie. Now, the whole thing is, um, uh, was it a couple months back, Amari Blaze pressed charges on another Chicago female drill rapper, Mellow Bucks, okay? And it went crazy. Because even King Yellow made a video saying he didn't condone her, telling but that's his family and all that. Now, let's kind of break this thing down a little bit, though. But, you know, before we break it down, Amari had more things to say, and I actually got that from the Chicago Wave comment section. So, let's see what that's about and see if we can put it together. Now, I don't know if this is stemming from this particular interview with, um, what's his name, Vaughn 1700, I believe. Um, however, it seems like maybe I haven't watched that interview, but anyway, it says, and this is from Amari Blaze, bro, on Pierre Gray, first of all, bitch, you laughing like you was ever my type, Vaughn, or my granny. I would have laughed at him saying your name too. Second, y'all giving that weak ass bitch too much credit, baby. Three bitches snuck and jumped me. Ain't no one bitch beat my ass, none. And Adam, stop fucking speaking on me in interviews, bitch, because you be dick riding whoever in your seat. I should have made Yella smack the fuck out of you like we originally planned. Thanks for the free promo, though, Arthur. Now, I'm going to say this because I took to my story and shared it and was like, damn, not the plan changed. I thought that was a little, like, too much. Like, why would you say y'all even plan to do that? Because now it's going to always be high alert when you're around. So you're supposed to be sneaky with it, okay? You're supposed to, boom, pop out. You don't supposed to let them know you're coming. Because now all this shit going on, 
Adam 22 ain't about to let his guard down for sure around King Yellow ass. But listen, maybe I'm maybe I'm don't know what I'm talking about because Adam 22 took to his store. Yeah, it's a lot, y'all. So let's check that out. And then I'm gonna tell y'all how I feel about the whole situation in this entirety. All right, so it seems to be that Yella actually hit Adam up directly on this line, popping his shit about him disrespecting the family and all that, okay? And Adam does what Adam does. Anytime we see Adam post screenshots, it's like, okay, I don't believe you, whatever, 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 right? So he did go say, and for the record, the dumb hoe got on pod, called basically saying she was snitching, okay? Now, this is the thing. Now, in all honesty, I mean, the whole situation was about the telling situation. I mean, King Yellow made a video, okay? Now, I have a question for y'all, okay? When we're talking about telling, snitching, or whatever, in actuality, it does equal to ratting, right? So, if someone calls someone a rat, is that something to get mad at if you actually said the person was snitching? And if the person said they was snitching, is it okay to call them a rat? Now, personally for me, I don't too much call nobody a rat. I only call a person a rat if you actually told on me, okay? Or if you actually told on one of my peoples, I'll call you a rat. When I'm doing my content, I don't call people a rat, okay? I definitely will say you told or you snitch, but that's just me. My whole, I feel like calling a person a rat is more personable. It's more like feeling into it. So, that's just my view on it. As far as Adam 22 and King Yellow, this is my thing. And as far as, let's start with King Yellow. Because King Yellow took to his social media and was calling Adam 22 the police. So, I just got a question. Maybe I don't, maybe I think too differently for this internet shit. If a person to you is the police or doing police shit, why is you threatening them on the internet? Like, I don't get that part. So, if this person is the, so if Adam 22 is the police, you done threatening this man, you inbox, I I mean, texting this man threats you on like the fuck you asking yourself to get locked fuck up i'm just saying like what the fuck is that about see me when i know you the police i'm not going back and forth with you i ain't saying shit to your ass it is what it is maybe some crazy fan did it okay another thing like um the culture vulture part and i'm gonna be honest with y'all at this point all these plays and shit that being ran Everybody a culture vulture at this point because everybody is motherfucking making money off of shit that somebody else is going through, period. And I'm just going to be real. Um, And this is not just for Chicago. This is everywhere. This is media. This is social media at this point. And I'm going to say this, as far as the Chicago content, you know, Chicago content is recycled. This, um, um, Mari Blaze and Mellow Bucks is new, but for the most part, as far as when it comes to King Yella, Adam 22 and the whole no jumper thing, you know, that's been going on for years, but it's the re same recycle stories that, was provided by the people involved and those who claim to be around the people involved putting it out. So you can't really say that's culture vulture because, I mean, I've seen a King Yellow No Jumper interview. I'm pretty sure you got paid for it. You know what I'm saying? So you paid to tell whatever it is you was telling on the interviews just like anybody else. So I just feel like us as a society, especially on a, in the online community, use that culture vulture shit too fucking loosely because... We, as a society, allow people to come in and talk what they talk, whether it's about money, exposure, whatever. That was a choice made, and now that they're comfortable and to saying and doing whatever they doing, you can't call them a culture vulture. That's something that was created by the masses, you know what I'm saying? And I say that because do I personally feel Adam 22 is a culture vulture? No, I feel like as a business, he found an area that works for him and he's fucking maxing that shit out to the, the fullest, okay? He's saying what he's saying because it's dudes and gals that get on there that make him feel comfortable to say that or give him passes to say it. The same way I feel about the 
word nigga. I don't care what you on or where you from. Don't call me no nigga, especially if you're of another ethnicity, okay? But then you have other people that's okay with it. So, boom, it's like you can't uh, expect a person to turn it off just because it's your people. But then when it's somebody else, you, you allow it to be turned on. So, that's just my feelings about it. And that's just not with Adam 22. That's with Vlad, 1090 and Jake or anybody else. Um... At the end of the day, you got to stand on principle for yourself. I'm not going to sit there and indulge in some shit that I don't even want to indulge in for me. So I'm going to set that boundary and set the principle right then and there. And then sometimes as uh, personalities, we got to be okay with saying, I don't want to talk about that with you. Like, next question. Like I said. They went on there talking about the situation at one point, you know, or you're making videos about it. And, you know, as a blogging site, they're going to react to it and all that. So if you're saying somebody is snitching and telling and all that, then again, how can you really be mad if somebody called call somebody a rat? Now, as far as him making the jokes about her appearance from a person that boy, these dudes on this Internet. And I'm saying it's mainly dudes that do it. that talk about your appearance. I did definitely felt that on that and again how i would want to see if it was me if you really feel that strongly about the disrespect about him talking about how she looking all that then you shouldn't be doing no more no jumper content you shouldn't be no doing no more no jumper interviews none of that shit because you got to take a stance for real because if you really standing up for your cousin standing up for the disrespect then you should cut all ties with doing anything related to adam 22 on no jumper that's how you take a stance that's just my opinion of it y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments for now I'm out. All this is the weakest. Give a fuck about what they scream. Holla. Uh, I'm Shout Mickey out too. Mickey. Mickey, you gonna be big. Yeah, like, I, I I'm love. trying to conquer the world. Coming from where I come from. They doubted me, but I came up.